Y'all, I am looking at this hairline and we have got to do better than this. Like, I... Hey Barbs, it's Kenny here. I'm back today, you guys, with another Throwback Thursday. So you guys, I have a synthetic wig here from divatrust.com. They sent me this sensational Cloud 9 multi-part wig. You guys, it is absolutely beautiful, you guys. Um, she is supposed to be a vixen wig, which means you can part her all the way from front to back and then part her from side to side as if it was a vixen sew-in. So you guys, I'm very interested in seeing what she looks like. She is a 1B27 and she does not have a name, y'all. I looked at it, I was like, wait, where is the name? no name so she is just called the vixen yaki 24 and she is safe from 350 to 400 degrees so we gonna go ahead and unbox her you guys and see what she looks like So you guys, it appears that she has four combs in the front, two on the sides of the ear, and it looks like there is two where the actual parting is. And then there is two combs in the back to secure the back with the adjustable straps. Now the lace is soft and it does appear to be a medium brown lace. So it does look like that's going to blend in really well with my skin tone, you guys. And I was looking on the photo, you guys, of the model, and it looks like she has the two braids, then she has the um, two kind of like ponytails at the top, and then she has it in a high bun. So we're going to try this out today because I don't believe in false advertisements. So if I can't do this, then this doesn't really help me. So I really want to test this out and see what the space buns, the high bun, and the Dutch braids look like. I did get it in the 1B and 27 because I wanted to add a little bit of color in my life. So you guys, we are going to cut this lace off and see what she looks like. Y'all, I am looking at this hairline and we have got to do better than this. Like... I I thought the moon shape wigs was out. I, I thought it was out. But I see they are still back in. Um, the hairline is not natural whatsoever. It does have a few baby hairs. So we gonna kind of work with what we got. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot of plucking because that defeats the whole purpose of getting a wig. If it's not, you know, if you got to do too much to it to make it look realistic, then it's almost not worth the money. So we're going to go ahead and just pluck it out just a little bit and then pull these baby hairs out because maybe that's going to make a huge difference. But just initial thoughts looking at it, this hairline is way too thick and way too moon shaped. So let's just do a little work. what the unit looks like after I finish installing it and kind of customizing it um, this hairline is very very hard to work with and be very careful plucking the way I did because I did kind of rip the lace up here so if you are going to try to do it really quickly like I did just be super duper careful because this is super soft lace so I did like the fact that the lace blended in seamlessly but it's appearing that the tabs are coming up a little bit and that's a little too much for me especially when you actually did put the combs in on both sides and it is coming up so 
that makes me a little bit uneasy about how it's going to be when I try to put it in the space buns. I did add some powder to the part just to whiten it and make it look a little bit more realistic. It is super thick, you guys, like all pulled to the front. And it has a nice yakky texture and it has a nice luster to it, which I'm really pleased about that because typically it can be a bit shiny when it comes to synthetic wigs. But this one doesn't look shiny whatsoever. Like you don't have to put any powder or anything on it. It looks like really, really, like really, really good. And so for these buns, you're going to have to kind of feel to put these up and... That's kind of inconvenient. Um, they did give you like those little black ties when you first take it out the package. But, you know, if you're just trying to put it on, you're not going to leave it in there. And then on top of it, they were slipping out. So they really didn't stay in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try out those space buns. Like I said, just right now, just pulling it up like this, just very loosely. They're already coming up on the sides, but we will just see what it looks like. And like I said, it feels like it's going to be a little hard to find out exactly where that Vixen part is, but we'll try it, you guys. So just keep on watching. Okay, y'all so this is what the wig looks like with the space buns and I am not too pleased because these are lifting on the sides like and I like I said I have the combs in and you would have to put glue down in order for it to stay and then on top of that this hairline is just so thick you guys that it would just make this look very unrealistic. It would look like you're wearing a wig. And I just can't go out like that. So the last style, you guys. Like, it's it's cute. Like, it's cute if the hairline was natural. It would be super cute if the tabs were down. So that it didn't look like it was lifting, you guys. Like, it's lifting. So I think this will be super cute if this was a different forefront up here like i think it would be super cute the style is cute the color is cute i'm just not pleased with the front of the actual wig now it did tangle at the bottom a little bit but not too much where it's not manageable you guys so um we are going to try the top bun you guys and see how that looks <music> Okay, you guys, so this is the bun and I'm going to turn around so y'all can see the back. So let's just say with this wig, you're going to do some work, you guys. I like this to be easy peasy. So if I'm paying my affordable prices for something, I want to be able to throw it on and kind of go out the door. Like I don't want to have to do too much. Um, and there's so many um, wigs out there that do have a um, more realistic hairline, synthetic wigs. So that's what makes it a little bit difficult and this one is not a lace front wig it's just the vixen so you can't even part it anywhere except for right here you're gonna have to shift the wig either to either side in order to really uh, change up your parting space so you guys this one is a fail okay this is a fail for me so um, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to put it in the two braids and see what that looks like So 
you guys this is the third hairstyle with the dutch braids i think that it came out pretty well what i did was instead of braiding backwards i braided to the side so that i can make it more loose so that the the ends weren't popping up too bad so then that allowed me to put it down or secure it with bobby pins instead of trying to put some type of glue or something on it i think that the hairstyle is super cute i thought it was cute when i first looked at this wig i was so excited i was like oh i get a chance to do dutch braids um so i think that it is this style is achievable um we are going to see what it looks like from the back because that is most important. If it looks funky in the back, you guys understand you will have to do this hairstyle on a foam head or some type of wig head that you all have so that y'all can make sure this, the part is straight. So let's just see what it looks like. And y'all, I felt around to make sure that I had a straight part. So, like I said, I don't know what it looks like. I won't see what it looks like until I go to edit this video. So, my suggestion is if it's not straight to go ahead and make these braids on a uh, wig head. Or what you can do is part it prior and put it in two ponytails and then when you place your wig on, you can go ahead and braid it at that point. So, out of all three, I think this is the most wearable hairstyle. Um, I like also the hair when it's just straight in the middle part. Um, I think that is also very flattering on me. So you guys, I really do, like I said, I love the color. It's a 1B27. I absolutely um, love the fact that the idea of the versatility was implemented in the synthetic wigs but unfortunately the other two hairstyles for me was a fail you guys thank you guys you know for watching this video i know it's going to be kind of long because i'm going through four four really hairstyles um but thank you so much diva trust for definitely um sending me this wig so that y'all can get a chance to really see what you're purchasing i don't like to you know get a wig and i'm like oh you I can, I can do all these things and then i find out that i really can't like it was such a waste of money so thank you all so much for watching i love you guys so much y'all in my heart i absolutely love y'all i appreciate y'all always staying tuned to my videos and coming back to me if you all have not subscribed make sure you do so don't forget to like and share this video you guys and if you haven't turned on your notifications y'all need to do that so y'all know when i'm getting you know these videos to you guys so again i love y'all so much and i will see you later